When I give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and the Bible and the city apostles and the elders are great millstone that rule well. Salutations to all the around the world, pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Right, this is number one. And we great millstone camp in Trinidad. Going to do a video in. Uh, we didn't do some. Um, thing that I have home here called. Project Muse, Sons of Israel and Caesar, Service, Jewish soldiers in the Roman military. Yes, then. Proven that it had Jewish. Or Jews. Real, not Jewish, Jews from the tribe of Judah. Some might be from the Levi. From Levi. Um, Benjamin, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Which all three, the, all those three tribes were called the Jews. But. The, the, the real Jews is the tribe of Judah because that's where the word Jew come from the word Jew come from the name Judah and the Hebrew is Yahawada which means thanks to the Most High you understand? but Judah is the head tribe of the nation and that was the head tribe of the southern kingdom so The southern kingdom consisted of three tribes, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and seen as how Judah, the head tribe, they were calling all those three tribe Jews. Now it has some imposters in the land saying, calling themselves the, real, the Jews, but we will see who is the real Jews in time to come. Now what it's saying here is that it has Israelites in um, the Roman military. And a son, including Cornelius, but I didn't get through the whole article yet. I just reading it, and um, I just pull out some key pointers in it from what I read. Now we're, ta we're talking about Tiberius Julius Alexander, which he was a wicked guy. He was a wealthy Jew from Egypt who took down. Who helped take down Israel working for Vespasian, the father of Titus to and Domitian, an Edomite, who helped take down Israel in around 68 AD to 70 AD, that wicked bastard called Tiberius Julius Alexander. It just make hey, it make common sense that it had Jews. The scriptures say there is no new thing under the sun. Right? If it had so called Negroes which is the original Jews in Rome army back then 2000 years ago and it will have it now in this time if everything does fall back into place but if people are spiritual they will understand that but apparently they have, they have a lot of unspiritual people in Israel calling themselves Israelites who can see Cornelius is an Israelite which Cornelius is an Israelite but the unspiritual. No. Um. I read. I read this article here. One page one sixteen and say, thus without any documentation of sources, Sharp states that Jews in the Roman, Jews in the Roman army were descended from the bodyguard of the Emesene and Judean royal families who had intermarried and became pa and become pagans. Right. That intermarried meaning the go and have sex with another nation and, and the children start to follow the customs of the other of that particular nation. It, they became worshipping idols. And the scriptures say that it's Deuteronomy 28 and 64. It says the Lord and the Lord, this is which is a curse that would have fall upon the Jews, but predominantly all Israel. You understand? It says, And the Lord, Yahweh, shall scatter thee among all people, from one end of the earth, from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So this is what I'm reading about here in this article what I have here home. That is a curse. What was going on with Israel? 
that we would have been scattered and having we would have become pagans and this is how it was happening the most I had it happen where we we, we had we intermarry with um other nations and we children come out looking like other nations following the ways and we start start leaving off we customs and started following their ways um it says who intermarried and became and, and become pagan smallwood states that the military service was always bound was the military service was always bound to cause difficulties for the jews of the diaspora because of their dietary laws so it would have always caused difficulties for the jews they would have always have at some if they want to keep the dietary laws and the and the and the get caught up in the, in the military service that will be problem because these pagans doing something else so you eventually you are to start to follow their ways which happened um, which made their inclusion in gentile units impracticable so they couldn't practice the, the, the ways and their inability to carry out any duties on the Sabbath. Apple Bomb claims that the Jews in the Roman army were renegades. Right. Um, we'll pull up our next. Hey, right. we'll pull up our next um, article here. The next piece in the article. This is um page 117 it say by the time of caesar jews could already reflect on an illustrious 300 year history of armed service in persia so meaning it had jews in persia right it had jews in the army in persia and the hellenistic east it had jews in the hellenistic east it had this guy called clitus millas I believe he was a so-called Jew. He was one of Alexander the Great. He was Ale one of Alexander the Great. Um, soldiers, if, if I'm mistaken. I will look it up if I'm mistaken. Clitus Millas is his name. Um, the Hellenistic, Hellenistic is Not to mention the military exploits of the Hasomonian dynasty in the Jewish state proper. Throughout the Ptolemaic period, Jews served in every capacity in the Egyptian army. So it had Jews all day. It had so-called Negroes in the in the middle, um, Egyptian army, the Persian army, the Roman army, the, the Greek army. One of the one of the, the, the Jews in the Roman army was Cornelius. Jews served in every capacity in the Egyptian army. There were military colonies at Elephantine, border guards at Pelusium, and reservists in the Epigon. Queen Cleopatra's third's top military commanders were both Jews. Kelchias and Ananias, the sons of legendary high priest Onias of Heliopolis. This military tradition continued into the early imperial period. Josephus makes specific mention of Jews, military colonists, instrumental in pacifying. So, what I just read the is that I just it's that more. As I said, I didn't read. I didn't finish read out the whole article. But what I'm saying is that you had to get us. People had to get his idea that fucking Jake in get scattered. If this, if you am the Most High, say we will get scattered from one end of the heaven, even onto even onto the uh, even onto the other. You know, so and there and there thou shalt serve other gods, other gods like who Caesar back then who they was serving, all these other Roman gods, not keeping the Sabbath, not getting themselves circumcised. And all that. 
this is who Paul was going to and preaching and bringing it back to them. Hey, all these really Israelites, you know. Cornelius was the, was the beginning of that, you understand? And there thou shalt serve other gods whom thou know thy fathers have known even wood and stone. These, um, Jeremiah 12 and 9. It says, my inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. What is Jeremiah's heritage? Jeremiah's heritage is as Israelite. A speckled, the word speckled. The word speckled. Is mean colored, variegated, speckled. So he heritages on him as a colored bird. A variety of different colors, which is Jake. Jake always have been different shades of brown. But now you will get Jake in, in looking at it, the Esau skin. You understand? They, they will be dark like ham. You know? They will be yellow like Chinese, but we, we always been different shades of brown. But that happened, all of that happened through what? Through we being scattered. As the scripture say, we being scattered, mingled, and we see it among other nations. We, Jeremiah say, heritage is on them as a speckled bird. Jake is a whole variety of different colors now. Which we always, from the start, been. We, we, Jake never was always black, black, like burnt black. We always like go have a dark Jake, and then we go have a lighter shade of brown, and then a lighter shade. That's how Jake always was, but now it more it more wider now. Now you go get Jake looking like Edomites. You get Jake black, dark like ham, burnt like ham, like these Chinese and them hold them yellow. You will get Jake looking so now. You know? And that happened through we being scattered. I'm mixing we seed among other nations. Um say my inheritance is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. That is these other nations now, they are against us. It says come here, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. You understand? And they did they, they devour us. The other nations. This is Lamentation chapter 2 verse 9. It says, The gates are sunk into the ground. He had destroyed talking about the most high. Then he said, He heard they talking about Israel. The only rulers sunk into the ground. The gates, the gates represent our rulers. It says, He had destroyed and broken her bars. The king and her princes are among the Gentiles. The law is no more. So when we was among the Gentiles, we didn't have the law. The law was no more within us. So we meaning what? We was living like beasts. Because an upright person go had the laws. You understand? Somebody who is upright dies because of our laws. When the scriptures say what? He breathed into them the breath of life. You understand? We became a living soul that when we start to live. The breath they represent the most high breathing that laws he given us our his laws. What a fact. And we having wisdom in the sight of the nations because you say that um we get out of quick these ecclesiasticus twenty Or is it Zama Salman? Let's see. No, I believe it's with Zama Salman. I'm not going to get it. With Zama Salman. With Zama Salman 7 and 24. It says, For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passes it and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath and power of the Most High and a pure influence flowing from the 
glory of the Almighty, therefore can no defiled thing fall into her. And we been defiled. That is why we lost the law and we started living like beasts. We started being beasts of the field. You understand? Like living like beasts basically. We, we, we ourselves became Gentiles. Because the law, the scripture, as I now read in Ecclesiastes 1, Wisdom of Solomon 7.25, For she is the breath. We say wisdom is the breath and power the most high. You know, this Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 5, it says, Behold, I taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my power commanded me, that you should do so in the land where you go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for it is your wisdom. That is we wisdom. It is we it is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations which shall hear these shall hear all these statutes and shall say, Surely this is a great and wise and understanding people. And we we was breaking the laws and the most high, according to Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty four, scattered us. This is why we kings, this is why we, we princes was among the Gentiles, this is why when Yahushai came, he, he, he said, he, he, he died to gather all Israel, all Israel back, all. The scripture is saying, Romans 11, 25, and so all Israel shall be saved. All Israel are to be saved. The, if, um, um, this is um, it's saying, Acts 15 and 18, I believe, known unto the Most High are all his works from the beginning of the world. So the most I know every spirit where he have. So he know all Israelites. So you know what? We say all my Israelites had to come back. It don't matter. Them, them, them spirit were inside of that vessel. They just have vessel. And people don't can't seem to understand. That don't matter how the vessel look. Once a spirit inside of that vessel is a Jake spirit. That is one of Jacob's sons. That is a point blank. You understand? Including Cornelius. Including Cornelius. So he says, Her gates are sunk into the ground. He had destroyed, these Lamentations 2 and 9, He had destroyed and broken her bars. Her kings and her prince, her king and her, her king and her princes are among the Gentiles. The law is no more. Her prophets also find no vision from the Lord. You understand? So we, we, the law is no more. We, we, we lost the law and we was living like beasts. But now we, we, we get back the law. We start pushing back a righteous vibration out there into the earth. This is why the so-called white man scared to death. You understand? So I just wanted to do a little quick video. Hopefully it was very fine. You know? It's just about, hey, Israel will be Israel been scattered among the nations from long time, Paolo. Israel been scattered long time. There's nothing we could do about it, but we, other than if a brother taking heed to the word, acknowledge him because it might it might look like a a a, a heathen, but hey, that Jake boy, that Jake boy, and I see it with my eyes like the brother there from Colorado. Who looking like the Edomite? Who, who asked the question, am I an Israelite? Look how he looking. He, tree spirit, I see he was, I see he's a jack. Long time. Because I, I subscribed to that page. Long time. Because of that brother. Since before you do that video, I see him. I say, wait now. This brother looking like an Edomite. But I don't know. I, don't know. I, say, I, I say to myself. I say, it, it ain't going to have no my calling on your house about a shammy outside. So I don't say, I say, this is a Jake. And I subscribe to that page because I just see that picture. I say that Jake. And then now he come and do that video. And look, he bring out pictures and all kinds of things showing that he fought, he too, his grandfather and his father who were um, Jake's from the tribe of Judah. So you see, then how Jake come in. So if you're spiritual, you will see that. But an unspiritual person will just look at the flesh. The scripture say, a carnal mind is enmity against the Mosai. So with that, I will say shalom. Hopefully it was edifying. Till the next time.
Israel Israel um, had kings Israel had men in the army of, of, of these heathens from long time the so called the, the real Jews was in these heathen and them army from long time it's not a new thing you understand so with that I will say Shalom and Barakatah Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai double honor to the apostle as a great millstone who taught us this word the water Shalom